Easy peasy. Oh, Archie. No, that's for me. Hey, Archie. What are you doing? That's mine. Good retrieve. That was a sweet shot. Well, Archie's making sure he's done for. No, you can't have him. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Nope. All right. First shot of the day. All right. Well, I guess let's film an intro here then. Hello friends, family, and outdoorsy people alike. Welcome back to another Rickles Fisher video. And as you can see, we're squirrel hunting again. And today has gone much better. In warm up, I sniped that coin right away. And uh, then I ended up uh, sniping a squirrel for a shot. So pretty awesome day so far. We're going to walk around. As you can see, both cats have joined us today. We got Pickerel and Archie. But yeah, we're just going to wander around in the bush here and uh, hopefully find another squirrel or two. And then we're going to get to the tanning process, which should be fun. I'm not going to do a brain tanning process because uh, Archie actually stole the brains from the one squirrel. We have eggs, so we're going to try the egg process. So I think anything that has those type of oily substance and you work it into the hide, it'll eventually tan the leather. So we'll see how eggs work today. So stay tuned for part two. Even better, I retrieved my ammo from that squirrel hit. So I didn't even lose my ammo on that one. What do you think about that, Archie? Is that pretty sweet? Right, so here's our big male squirrel and first things first we're just going to cut off the limbs and we're going to cut them closer than if we were to keep the whole hide for uh, tanning and keep it full but we're not doing that today we're not going to be able to use that little tiny piece of, of skin anyways so we'll just cut the limbs off nice and close. Archie, hey, you get over there. And for anyone who wants to complain about me giving my cat like squirrels or anything, because they might get diseases, these cats are outdoor cats. They eat plenty of squirrels and other creatures. So that's that. You can't have this part though. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut this part braid apart and then we're going to make an incision below the tail here. I'm actually going to give the tail to one of my friends who is a fly tire. I guess he's really uh, looking for squirrel tails so we'll go ahead and we'll mail that to, the, to him. We'll put some put it on some salt and uh, hopefully he enjoys that and makes some nice flies out of it. All right, so we've made an incision under that. Just kind of rate, you can see it here. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna get detailed into it because there's people who do way better jobs in videos than I do. But, uh, oh yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of pulling the guts apart. We want to make sure we get it in the skin. Actually, you're a weirdo. So then I guess none of the squirrel is going to waste because my cat is eating it. Okay, so we're gonna pull by the tail and just like a sleeve, it's just gonna pop right off. And we're just gonna cut it off right there. We're not dealing with the eyeballs and all that. If you guys want me to make a video on how you do like a full hide, then I will. But for this, we're just using this part. We're actually gonna send this tail off to my friend Ryan. So there's the tail. Nice tail too, there's going to be some good flies off that bad boy. And this is the part that we want right here. Just going to cut the arms apart because we're just basically making a rectangle. Okay, so there you go. Nice flat part, that was very simple. And uh, we'll get on to the next step here. Okay. 
So the next step is going to be to scrape all the salt off and uh, then we're going to cut it along the edges and just work with the main part that we're actually going to use. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now this is the piece that we're left with to work with that we can get pouches out of. So we're just going to scrape off that membrane a little bit more and then we're going to get a uh, egg for our tanning process. I'm not going to be using the brains. Uh, Archie decided those brains were for him. So we're just going to go ahead and use an egg. Seems a little bit better anyways to be honest than using the brain. But you guys want to see a video where I only use the animal to tan the hide, like the brain, then let me know and I'll do one like that. But this time we're just going to try an egg. So we're getting pretty close to having all that uh, other stuff off that we don't want on there. The membrane. What you calls it, you know, you know, you know. There's nothing there. Well, you can eat that if you want, but that's salty, so you probably don't want to eat that. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to crack this egg, and we're only going to be using the yolk. We're not going to be using the white part of it. So we'll try and split it up here. Just squeeze all that white away. Glad I got gloves on. And then we got the yolk. So we're just going to smush it in into the hide like this. And we're just going to work it in there. Archie, get out of the way. Work that, that yolk into that hide. And you can just kind of like squish it up and then get it worked in there. This is need, needs to be really pliable so you'll be, you'll be bending it from every which direction the whole time. Just this chunk of leather here working in that yolk. Pretty soon all that smushiness is going to go away. And they'll turn into leather, but usually takes a couple hours, so this is not a slow process. It is getting dark out, but I'm going to work this in for like an hour or two, and then I'll let you guys see the process, how far it's came along. Right now it's just a smushy mess, but it is going to start to look like something in a while, so stay tuned. See you guys in an hour or two. So as you can see, there's parts of it going from a dark color to white color. We're just literally stretching this out constantly, getting the egg yolk oils into the leather. And uh, yeah, it's working out. We just got to keep going. It can't stop for too long and let it get stiff. Keep working it in until it's uh, all gone, and then we might add another egg. All right, so now we are getting somewhere. You see how it's a lot of it is white now, and there's just some darkness left in there, kind of in some edges. So we'll focus on those areas and it's going to be all white looking like that and all those little egg yolk oils will be in there. So uh, I'm just stretching it out like basically like this but with two hands and uh, yeah just working every little spot of it. So there's nothing special to that part. So we'll keep going and this is about an hour and a half or so in and then I'll let you guys know how it looks in about another hour. So check this out, this is like 45 minutes later and uh, we already have leather pretty much. I just uh, trim the outsides a bit and I'm going to work it for another half hour or so but this is pretty much good to make band sets. So tomorrow we will uh, make some band sets for the slingshot with this so stay tuned for the next part. Okay so it's the next day and here is my chunk of leather. As you can see we have a decent little 
chunk. So we're just going to start with this piece right here. And we're going to try and make a slingshot pouch out of it. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we're going to take one of these ones. We have our slingshot pouch here. And we're just going to use this one to trace out a new one. And uh, this one's a little small, so it'll be perfect that we just make a bigger outline. So just go ahead and trace this out. As you can see, it's just an outline. I guess we'll go ahead and put a little hole there too. A little spot for the hole anyways. Beautiful. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut that out now. Alright, there we go. We have one issue though. We forgot to make this hairless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a razor. And I'm going to shave all this hair off. So it's just a chunk of leather, and uh, we'll see if it's thick enough for a pouch. If not, I have another idea. We can make two of them, and then we can stick them together, and that'll be a big enough chunk of leather, definitely for a pouch. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll try one slice first. So here we go, that's pretty much all the hair. I think what we are going to do is we're gonna make two of these and then we're gonna adhese the hair, the hair side together, get rid of that hair. And uh, it should look like that on the outside of both sides. So let's go ahead and we'll make one more of these pieces and we'll get this put together. <laughs> We go we got two pieces they're gonna go together like this so we will go ahead and uh, I don't know do you guys think we should color them maybe we could get some some food coloring dye or something and make these a different color we'll see about that it might look nicer than the the permanent marker on there or we could color them all black one of the two but we're gonna find an adhesive and we'll get these glued together and that'll be the perfect thickness for a band. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a whole restart. I need to make them thicker and use a different adhesive because that adhesive didn't work well enough. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead, I'll cut all these out, get the hair off them and then we'll compress and adhese all of these pieces together for one thick pouch. There we go. We have completed the band set and uh, it's pretty dark out already so I won't have the chance to shoot this on film but uh, if you guys want to see it shot in a different video we will go ahead and do that. I'm sure it'll work just fine. It's a nice thick leather. Well not too thick but thick enough that uh, it should work as a good pouch so there you go. Squirrel slingshot pouch. I attached it to my antler slingshot that I made a while back and uh, we have a squirrel hide pouch with an antler slingshot so if you guys want to see me shoot this in another video make sure to give this one a like be subscribed and leave a comment let me know but that's gonna be all for this one hope you guys all enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one